Hi, I'm David. I don't operate Country White Knot Gardens here outside of Rochester, Indiana, which is about an hour south of the Michigan state line. I grow 25 different species and varieties of bamboo, including this Macon clone of our native Arundinaria gigantea, which is not only native to the U.S., but uh, native to Indiana, actually. Arundinaria gigantea used to grow at least as far north as Indianapolis, and the Native Americans use it for numerous things. It is, without a doubt, the most cold hardy bamboo that I have. It has only top killed once since I got it in 1998. It was collected by my great aunt and uncle, and they uh, brought it back to me. And it uh, does lose some leaves and wind burn, but you can see it's all leafed out and everything now, looking great for the season. It's uh, more cold hardy than anything I could say of any of the others that I have. <laughs> um, I would say the next most cold hardy would be Phyllostachys atrovaginata over here. It wind burns more severely than the Macon clone of Rondinaria gigantea, but it has not top killed the past several winters since it's been uh, established. It did top kill uh, its first few winters when I got it, just before it had a established root system down and everything and uh, more settled in. But if you can see back here, there is an older comb that has been through uh, two or three winters now. And it is not top killed, but you can see some twig damage where it hasn't relieved out quite to the ends of all the branches all the way down. But that's still very respectable for a Phyllostachys. You can see some top damage here on this comb, right there. But it did relief out on down. But I would say right now, this is my most cold hardy of my Phyllostachys species. In uh, second place to the Macon clone of our native Arundinaria gigantea. This is Phyllostachys parvifolia. It's the same age, um, the grove that is, uh, as my Phyllostachys atrovaginata. Of course, we don't know their true biological age because we don't know when the last flowering was, or at least I don't. If that information is out there, I've not come across it. But um, it did top kill, same story uh, as with atrovaginata, first few years I had it. And it does get top damage and twig damage here. Here's an old comb, a couple years old. You can see, like Atrovaginata, it has the top damage and the twig damage on down. It did relief out to the near the end of that branch, but then other branches, especially near the top, have, have some twig damage, top damage. But important thing to remember with any of these is that even if they do top kill, uh, they still come back in the spring from the roots. So I would say Arundinaria gigantea macon, Phyllostachys atrovaginata, and Phyllostachys parvifolia are the three most cold hardy in that order. Um, following after that would probably be Phyllostachys besedii. Here we are at Phyllostachys besedii. You can see the top kill sticking up above the grove. Then all this we see here on the outside was new from the ground up this spring. And it nearly covered the top kill. Not quite, but nearly. It did have some combs in the interior of the grove uh, that I walked in there and saw uh, several weeks back that had not top killed, that had wind burnt and relieved. So on the outskirts though here, it did, uh, it did top kill, but it came right back. Now, Phyllostachys nuda over here, it looks even sadder. And the funny thing is that nuda for a number of winters was my tougher bamboo. I've passed a few winters, it has not been. You never know. But you can see all the top kill that the new growth did not cover. All this was new from the ground up this spring, and then, then you have that up there. And of course, once the culms are hardened off, that that's it they're done they're done growing so they're not going to continue to grow up to cover that it'll have to be 
a wait and see if it produces tall enough growth next next year to cover that old growth from the winter before. But I even fertilized this. I gave this uh, granular urea uh, late winter, early spring, and this is all it did. But, um, let's see. I would say after Nuda, it would be the Aurora Sulcata clones. I would say Spectabilis here uh, has been probably my nearest to cold hardy, um, the Aurora Sulcata clones. You can see the top kill up there. It did top kill this winter, but it produced all this new growth this spring, nearly enough to cover. It's got several feet up there of top kill that it didn't cover, but um, still did decently. This is Phyllostachys or Osicata Harbin Inversa. And I almost want to give it a slightly more cold hardy rating than Spectabilis, um, but I want to give it some more winters just to test that out. Past few winters, that has been the case. You can see some, let me zoom in here, right at the top, right there, some top damage from winter. But most of this growth was new from the ground up this spring. But it did have some combs that uh, wind burnt and then relieved out, more so than Spectabilis. The uh, Harbin Inversa here had more combs that relieved than did Spectabilis. Um, right here is one of them. And you can see it relieved really well, it just has some top damage right out there about let's see uh the comb popped back up there i wanted to measure <laughs> how much top damage it had on this comb it has about two feet right there of top damage so not bad and it did have another a number of combs that survived that um i would have to say the next most cold hardy one after this one would probably be Aurora Collis, and then the species, and I would place the Harbin clone of Aurora Cicada as the least cold hardy of my Phyllostachys. Um, Rubber Marginata would be next to least cold hardy, right before Harbin, but those would be my top picks for most cold hardy bamboo in the order that they were shown in this video. And uh, if you made it this far, please give me a like, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. And something else I really like and appreciate is this shirt that my friend got me. It's bamboo design. I really like it. I had to wear it for this video. <laughs> but until next time, thank you for stopping by and take care. Bye.